Hi, I'm Matt with Let's Go Products. Today we're going to talk about dimming landscape lighting. And there are a couple important things to get started. First, you need high quality dimmable lamps. And when I say dimmable, it needs to actually say on the lamp itself that it's dimmable. And it needs to be high efficiency or high power factor. And you calculate your power factor by taking your wattage divided by your volt amp rating, which some manufacturers will post on their website. And then you need to have a standard magnetic transformer rated 12 to 15 volts AC. The one we're using for this demo is a landscape lighting transformer, 150 watt. You need to size this transformer for your load, including your power factor calculations. Object of this video today is we're going to show you the Let's Go Products dimmer and with average power factor lamps and then with high power factor lamps and show you how many more lamps you can put on it when they're high power factor. Here's the Let's Go Products dimmer up close. It's fully potted, IP67 waterproof dimmer. It has supply side and load side transient protection. It has fuseless short circuit protection, so you can dead short the outputs and nothing will be damaged. And high quality product, nothing quite like it on the market. Um, when I turn these lamps up right now, there's nine of your standard average power factor lamps. As I turn this up, we're gonna get, we're gonna get to a point where you're gonna see it start to blink. This is our overload indicator. So you know you have too much. You have too high of a peak current here. So when I unplug one of these lamps, all of a sudden that goes away because we've got within the threshold that's acceptable. Now I'm going to show you, using high power factor lamps, how many more you can put on before you hit that overcurrent blinking. Now what we have here is 20 5 watt Emory Allen MR16s. When we had a moment ago, we were able to run 8 4 watt LEDs before we hit overcurrent. Now we have 20 of your Emory Allen, and as I turn it up, I actually can't get it to blink because we're still not hitting the peak current level. And just to prove the point, go all the way through it. Now I'm going to plug in a 35 watt halogen just to get it over the threshold and make it begin to blink. So when you're using a high power factor lamp, you can put way more of them on the Let's Go Dimmer. Emory Allen's a great option. It's high power factor, high quality, and uh, great success if you want to dim. And not only that, but they dim lower than many other lamps with really smooth dimming. So please check them out. Please check out the Let's Go Products Dimmer. Don't hesitate to look at the Let's Go Products website if you have any questions for us, and we'd be glad to help you out. Thanks.